Welcome to a cinematic journey back to 1965, where the screen was graced by the quirky charm of what's new Pussycat. As you revisit this classic, you might find yourself pondering, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Or perhaps, reflecting on the first time you experienced the comedic magic woven into the narrative. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about this cinematic gem. The film, not just a showcase of star-studded performances, boasts an entertaining fusion of comedy and romance. With its lively script and dynamic cast, it captivates audiences with a unique blend of wit and charm. As you reminisce about this cinematic voyage, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, sit back, relax, and let the celluloid charm of what's new Pussycat transport you to a bygone era of laughter and love. Happy reminiscing, and don't forget to share your thoughts with us. What's New Pussycat, a 1965 film directed by Clive Donner, emerged as a vibrant and influential comedy that left an indelible mark on popular culture. This quirky production, featuring a screenplay co-written by Woody Allen, revolves around the tumultuous romantic escapades of Michael James, a neurotic womanizer played by Peter O'Toole. The plot unfolds when Michael seeks the help of a psychiatrist, played by Peter Sellers, to cure his compulsive infidelity. However, chaos ensues as various eccentric characters, portrayed by the likes of Romy Schneider and Ursula Andress, get entangled in Michael's chaotic love life. The film's comedic brilliance lies in its sharp wit, slapstick humor, and the impeccable timing of its ensemble cast. Fusing elements of farce and romance, what's new Pussycat stands out for its audacious exploration of love and desire, reflecting the swinging 60 seconds ethos. Its impact on popular culture endures through memorable performances, Alan's witty dialogue, and a soundtrack featuring the iconic title song sung by Tom Jones. This cinematic gem not only entertained audiences of its time, but also paved the way for a new era of irreverent and sophisticated comedies. In What's New Pussycat, the 1965 film directed by Clive Donner, the dynamics behind the scenes were as intriguing as the on-screen chaos. One noteworthy aspect is the complex relationship between Peter Sellers and Woody Allen. Sellers, known for his improvisational skills, took control of his lines and scenes, creating tension between him and Allen. This rivalry even affected their off-screen interactions due to their uncanny resemblance. Interestingly, Sellers' improvisation extended to the point where he convinced the producer to give him lines and scenes originally written for Allen. This maneuver elevated Sellers to the film's star, relegating Allen to a supporting role. This power play not only showcased Sellers' influence, but also triggered a turning point for Woody Allen. Dissatisfied with his meager payment for the screenplay, Allen deliberately wrote himself a role in the film, marking the beginning of his pursuit of greater artistic control. Woody Allen's dissatisfaction with his initial compensation, a mere $30,000 and the subsequent power struggle on set, became pivotal in shaping his career trajectory. The fallout from what's new Pussycat fueled Allen's determination to have more control over his creative endeavors, ultimately leading him to step into the director's chair in later projects. This film, beyond its on-screen hilarity, played a crucial role in Allen's evolution from a writer-actor to a director who sought autonomy and artistic authority. In essence, the behind-the-scenes dynamics of what's new Pussycat not only contributed to the film's narrative complexity, but also became a catalyst for Woody Allen's career transformation. This undercurrent of creative tension, spurred by Seller's improvisation and Allen's response to his compensation, adds a layer of intrigue to the film's production and underscores its lasting impact on the trajectory of those involved. Woody Allen's entry into the 1965 film What's New Pussycat marked a pivotal moment in his career trajectory. Encouraged by his agents to explore opportunities in the movie industry, Allen was approached to develop a feature film script. This move, driven by professional advice, set the stage for his involvement in a project that would not only shape his artistic evolution, but also contribute to the dynamics behind the scenes. Interestingly, the on-set dynamics of what's new Pussycat were not devoid of tension. Peter O'Toole, portraying the neurotic womanizer Michael James, 
had an unconventional off-screen experience in Paris. Witnessing a police altercation with a prostitute, O'Toole later took matters into his own hands at a nightclub, seeking a form of retribution against another police officer. This real-life episode adds a layer of intrigue to the actor's connection with the film, blending the lines between fiction and reality. Another noteworthy aspect involves the uncredited appearance of Louise Lasser, Woody Allen's future wife, as a masseuse in the film. This subtle connection foreshadowed their collaborative ventures in subsequent projects during the 1960s and early 1970s, marking the beginning of a professional partnership that extended beyond the screen. In essence, the confluence of Woody Allen's foray into film prompted by industry advice, Peter O'Toole's real-life incident in Paris, and the uncredited appearance of Louise Lasser as a masseuse, paints a multifaceted picture of the behind-the-scenes dynamics of what's new Pussycat. These off-screen elements, woven into the fabric of the film's production, contributed to its unique narrative complexity and added to the enduring impact of this cinematic gem. In a pivotal moment during the shooting of What's New Pussycat, Paula Prentice experienced a dramatic incident in Paris. Suffering a nervous breakdown, she climbed onto a catwalk, threatening to jump. The French technician intervened, saving her life. Subsequently, Prentice was transferred to a clinic in New York for recovery, and her career took a hit. She resurfaced in Catch-22 five years later, making sporadic TV show appearances in the interim. Interestingly, a scene in the film where Victor Skakapopulize celebrates his 29th birthday on the wharf was filmed on December 1st, 1964A Len's actual 29th birthday. This real-life connection adds a layer of authenticity to the on-screen celebration. Moreover, the movie earned a spot on the American Film Institute's 2004 list of 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Music in the Movies. The inclusion was based on the iconic title song, What's New Pussycat? Undoubtedly, the film's soundtrack played a significant role in its enduring impact on popular culture. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes, from Paul Apprentice's challenging moment to Woody Allen's birthday scene, and the film's recognition by the American Film Institute contribute to the rich tapestry of the 1965 movie What's New Pussycat, showcasing both the challenges and triumphs that shaped this cinematic gem. As the cinematic curtain falls on our journey through the allure of What's New Pussycat, let the echoes of this timeless gem resonate within the corridors of your memories. This 1965 masterpiece is not just a movie, it's a portal to a bygone era, an era where laughter echoed through smoky jazz bars, and love was as unpredictable as the plot twists that unfold on the silver screen. As you bask in the afterglow of this cinematic experience, take a moment to ponder. What's New Pussycat isn't just a collection of scenes, it's a mosaic of emotions that might have mirrored your own romantic escapades, or perhaps whisked you away to a world of flamboyant fashion and sophisticated chaos. Now, my dear cinephile, let's intertwine our stories. Share with us the fragments of your journey through the cinematic labyrinth. What scenes stirred your soul? Which character became the unexpected hero of your narrative? We're not just discussing a movie, we're unraveling the threads of your own personal tapestry. Let the comments section below be the canvas where your reflections paint a vivid portrait of your connection with what's new Pussycat. Your thoughts are the brushstrokes that bring this cinematic masterpiece to life once more. Thank you for indulging in this exploration of nostalgia and emotion. Your time and thoughts are the threads that weave the fabric of our cinematic camaraderie. Until our next celluloid rendezvous, revel in the memories, and may the allure of what's new pussycat linger in the recesses of your cinephile heart.